playing for five seasons now. And when I started playing, all I really wanted to do was uh, just play a game. I just wanted to have fun. I didn't have any kind of motive. I just wanted to, to do something physical. And it was the first time in my life that um, I had allowed myself to try something new and be mad at something new and just not care. I got the opportunity to move to San Francisco um, to complete my graduate school and they were having tryouts the week I moved out here. So <laughs> I rolled up, slapped on some skates, um, went to tryouts and I got, I got drafted. So. And then I was on our bucket list in book club and we're like, we're going to try out. And literally I had on jeans and rental skates and we tried out and it was awesome and all the girls were amazing and it was like this little tight knit of women that supported each other. So. Your skates become like so much a part of your, it's so much a part of the culture. I mean, it all depends on the roller skates. And in derby, it's one of, one of the only sports where, like I guess if you play football or something, the gear doesn't really have as much to do with your quality of play. Like there's either talent or, there, or there's not. But in roller derby, the gear, it affects your level of play so much. It can really restrict you to have a pair of skates that don't respond when you shift the weight from one foot to another or you're trying to make a really tight turn. Um, so it's, it's important to, to be able to get skates that fit has kind of made me like a more chill person because uh, when I don't get to have my like three or four times a week of just like balls to the wall, <laughs> hitting the crap out of somebody or, or dod mainly dodging people hitting the crap out of me, I'm super aggro. When I play roller derby, I don't look at people's faces so I don't feel bad when I hit them since I am so nice. I look at bodies, of course you're going to recognize what people kind of look like, but you don't want to put the emotion in it because you're not hitting them because you don't like them, you're hitting them because you gotta help your jammer get through. We actually sponsor over a dozen leagues in the Bay Area. Um, oddly enough, there's that many. Tournaments are a really good opportunity to like play a bunch of leagues in two days and not have to travel so much to like play one bout here, one bout here, one bout here. Um, and they're just really fucking fun because you're like in there and with a community of people who love what you're doing and you just like swarm into a town and blow it up for a weekend and then leave, you know? I think it would be great if it could go more of a mainstream professional level where we would have all-star teams throughout the U.S. that would compete against each other. I think that would be awesome for the United States. It's all volunteer run, so all of the skaters actually run the um, the business of the league. Um, that it means when I was on BAD, I was head of um, creative um, web and art making basically so all the programs we designed all the website we built um, or found people to build it all the graphics that got produced for the league were produced by slaves <laughs> by us or by people we knew we just wrangled in and then uh, it completely depends on just people willing to give their time for nothing just to do something that they love like I was saying before, derby is community-based, and so we don't want to just reach people that only care about roller derby. We want to like reach multifaceted people. Thing when I think about someday retiring from roller derby, um, I don't think I could retire from, like from the community because I have so many people that I know and I've met that I never would have met, and I honestly like have so much love and respect for so many people that I never would have thought that like you know I would have even had the most basic conversation with. And everything they do and all the sacrifices they make like make me fall in love with the sport every single time I play. The biggest benefit um, from Derby to the community is just having women have a way to like contribute to something big and to assemble in a way that has not been, I have not seen carried out in any other like thing that I've been involved with. Like 
anything that I've been interested in. I mean, like skate culture, I grew up skateboarding and snowboarding and all that. It's still all dominated by, I mean, men, you know. Um, and it's just, it has been so refreshing to be involved in an organization where women aren't pitted against each other. I mean, they're competing against each other, but it's not in a way that like tears them down. It's in a way that is so empowering and that like you beat the crap out of each other and yet like you're there to like help you. There's like such an amazing network opportunity for women in Derby that has never been available in any other way that I've known of.